In this chapter, we'll take a closer look at the Dreamweaver interface before we move on to creating our Groundswell site. Knowing where things are located and how they work within Dreamweaver will really pay off in creating efficient workflows and doing things the right way. The first interface element we'll take a look at is the welcome screen. When you open up Dreamweaver, the welcome screen shows up front and center, located where you would normally see an open file. Opening a file will replace the welcome screen, but closing the file will bring it right back. Let's take a look at all the things that the welcome screen allows us to access. The first thing you'll notice is that in the left hand column, you have open a recent item. What this is, it's a list that's populated by all the files that you've been recently working on. For example, if I click on lifestyle journal, it takes me directly to my journal page so I can continue working on that. I'll just go ahead and close that again. If you haven't worked on any files at all, that list will be empty and the only thing you'll see is this open directory. Now the open directory allows you to browse throughout your site or any folder in your site for a specific file if it's one that you haven't been recently working on. So that's kind of nice too. The middle column allows us to create new files. Notice that we have a full listing of different file types. So HTML, we have a few dynamic file types like ColdFusion, PHP, and ASP. CSS. So some of these technologies might not mean anything to you right now, but the more you design websites, the more that you're likely to use these types of files and being able to create one by just clicking on a single icon like this gives us a brand new HTML page is a real time saver. The pages are created to the specifications that are in your dream of our preferences. So you'll notice we didn't get any type of a dialogue box asking us for any settings for our HTML file. On the right hand side, we have a column that says top features, and this is a really nice little training component of Dreamweaver. If you want to learn more about a new feature such as Code Navigator, you can simply click on this link. In addition to links for those specific videos, if we look in the lower left hand corner of the welcome screen, we have getting started, new features, resources. This will take us online to Adobe's website to a more robust help file, which is really nice. Finally, in the lower right hand corner, we have this really neat little branding area. What this is, is if you have an internet connection, this will go out to Adobe's website and it'll let you know if there are any updates available for Dreamweaver CS4, new articles on Adobe's website, or things that might interest people that use Dreamweaver. So this is a really neat little feature that every time you open up Dreamweaver, you might want to take a little look at it to see if there's anything new going on. If you don't like the welcome screen, and for the life of me, I can't imagine anybody that wouldn't want to use this, but if you just think it's cluttering up your workspace, you can click on the Don't Show Again. Now what that means is, is the next time you open up Dreamweaver, the welcome screen will not be here. If you do that by mistake and you want to bring it back, you simply go to your preferences. And here I'm going to go to edit preferences on the Mac. You'd go to Dreamweaver preferences. And if I go to the general category, which is right up top, there's a checkbox that says, no, no, I do want to show the welcome screen and it would bring it back the next time you open up Dreamweaver. I love how the welcome screen unobtrusively gives me access to recently opened files allows me to create new files with a single click and gives me access to training videos on new features in CS4. I also like how any updates or new articles from adobe.com will appear when you have internet connectivity. I think you'll find, as I have, that you'll use the welcome screen frequently when working within Dreamweaver.